pop. But hopefully, we start the two of them said time, so them can just sync up, and we're like we sync up, <laughs> we sync up. You see it, and then we do the right thing. Yo, my eye brown. Watch my eye brown. I lie. I never know me have brown eye. <laughs> Bro, nah, 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 I need to relax, relax, brother. Voice in the face, right? the voice you don't know, say, I coach, you say, but I coach, you say, ah, get it! And today, we have the deadly divide in West London, 156 versus Reynolds Lane. Now, the reason why I may watch this, because 156 now have in-house beef. 60, RCG, a beef, um, work rate from the 6. So... 156 a beef 156 we need a 156 versus 156 video uk drill plug we need the inside scoop on the in-house beef what happened all the man them going from almost taking over the drill scene 60 are the views absav did a do views work rate did a do views no and nito mb been a do views since like 2014 how how we start beef now how 156 start beef themselves I need to know. I need to know. And I think you guys will know as well. So if anybody can make a video explaining that, or if there is a video explaining that, like, leave it in the comments and we'll react to it. But for now, we're going to react to the 156 versus Reyna's Lane. We'll probably, we're probably going to hear the T Wiz, um, T Rose story, but let's see what else they have in there. In recent years, we have seen the popularization of UK drill and rap within West London, with rappers like Digga D, Central C, and Fredo blowing up in the scene and creating waves throughout the drill scene. West London is often stereotyped to be a very wealthy side of London, with some news pages even claiming it's the wealthiest part of England. Ah. However, what a lot of people are unaware of is the ongoing. Wait, it's the wealthiest second to clap up? Pages even claiming Wait. it's the wealthiest part of. West London was found to be the richest part of England in general, while the city of London. Came second to clap and come on west. Bro. No, 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 no. My, my family live at Clapham Junction. Yeah, 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 yeah. But clap and come on the right round the road though. Yeah, brother. When I was outside, yeah, clap and come on the right round the road, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah of England. However, what a lot of people are unaware of is the ongoing war between two street gangs, these being 156 and Rainer's Lane. 156 is a gang alliance based around Southall, UB1, Northolt, UB5, and Greenford, UB6. Oh, the gang man. is based around several estates. So I guess the UB mean like Oxbridge? I'm guessing that's what UB mean. Let me know in the comments. UB1, Northolt, UB5, and Greenford, UB6. The gang is based around several estates within these areas, including the Racecourse Estate, the Golf Links Estate, and the Meddler Farm Estate. The 156 gang is made up of three sets, these being RCG, Six Gang, and One Side. In recent years, we have seen the split within 156, resulting in many of the members starting to actively beef each other, which is crazy considering they were all friends. However, I'll explain the split later on in the video. Okay, all right. Alright, alright, so we don't have to watch a separate video. He's gonna explain everything this video. Let's go. Anyways, 156 has a rivalry with nearby CGM, Purple Haze, and West Drayton, and is allied with 12 Anti and AGB located in Camden. However, in this video, I'll be explaining the beef between 156 and Rainer's Lane. Rainer's Lane is a large street gang based around Rainer's Lane and the Apple Grove Estates within South Harrow. The Apple gang Grove. takes up the HA2 postcode. They also go by the name FLB or Fat. What 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 does HA2 stand for? What that what that postcode stand for? Harrow? I don't know. May I try to guess, but I can't guess. In South Harrow, the gang takes up the HA2. Oh yeah, South Harrow. I did say it. Harrow. He said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Postcode. They also go by the name FLB or Fast Lane Boys. They beef 156, 9th Street, and 12 Anti. Rainer's Lane are allied with CGM, South Acton, and nearby Hayes, who also have a rivalry with 156. Rainer's Lane have a few rappers, including Brizo, Sizz, and Risky, who aren't that consistent in the scene, although they do have a few UK drill bangers. Whilst it's largely unknown why one. I was shaking my head because I have never heard of any of those guys. If they have any songs on the wall, I'm a reactor. Let me know in the comments. 56 and Rainer's 
lanes started to beef. It is speculated that young members of both sides have had issues with each other since the early 2010s. However, the beef would escalate after a Rainer's Lane younger would get with a girl from Greenford, based around 156 territory, which is often how gang beefs start. Whilst this information is quite unreliable, this is the only thing I could find. If you know anything else, drop it in the comments. Anyways, the beef between these two gangs wouldn't be that active until 2017, before 2017 tit-for-tat incidents would play out between these gangs, with a popular 156 member named T-Wiz applying major pressure to all of his ops around this time. One of these incidents would be when T-Wiz would spot Rainer's Lane member T-Rose, and a fight would ensue between them, with T-Wiz beating up T-Rose badly. And only a few days later, Rainer's Lane member T-Rose would look for retaliation, with the following incident exploding the beef into a full-on war. On the 11th of April 2017, T-Wiz who repped N-Gang within 156 would be walking outside of his home when two members of Rainer's Lane including T-Rose would spot him. T-Rose and the other member would chase T-Wiz. T-Wiz was heard shouting back the Ramsey to nearby friends. However, he would be cornered off in an alleyway by the opposition members. T-Rose would stab T-Wiz with a large Rambo knife. This injury would result in T-Wiz's intestines falling out due to the stab wound. The two Rainer's Lane members would flee the scene following the attack and police and emergency service I was going to say at least you know he's on job though like at least you know him like he went out fighting you know he's a fighter he's a soldier you know what I mean like but journalists are just hearing guts ripping oh what would be called to the scene. T Wiz's brother would attempt to drag him to safety, however, he would sadly be pronounced dead on the scene shortly after the attack. A murder investigation would be launched following this, with both of the teens being arrested shortly after. However, during their court trial, both teens would be acquitted of the charges and would be released. This would include T Rose. Rest in peace, T Wiz. Following the death of T Wiz, we. I wanna know, how did they get acquitted of that though? Like, what happened? Like, what happened in the court? For make them, you know, can get that quit out. Would see the first instances of censorship within Drill, as CGM, or better known as 1011 at the time, would mock the death of T-Wiz in pretty much every Drill track they made at the time. The disrespect would get so bad that 1011 would be issued an ASBO and censorship on Drill music, stopping them from naming any rivals and areas. However, this was too late, as in 2017, 1011 would blow in the scene and get millions of views with their yeah. rude bars, with rappers like Horrid One and Digga D blowing up yeah. around this time. Members of 156 would be grieving the loss of T-Wiz, with prominent member Nito MB even having made a tribute song to T-Wiz, which was unreleased and leaked. It's clear that T-Wiz had a huge impact on 156, with- Bro, Nito did a tribute song for Wiz, and we don't know about it. If you want us to react to that on the channel, let me know. I'll probably react to it regardless. Popular member work rate even rapping that T-Wiz taught him how to stab ops in an old song from 2017. Love I'm in that game way too strong. Come on, was taught by T-Wiz way too strong. Way too st Following the death of T-Wiz, T-Rose, who was his killer, would release a song titled No Lies, where he would recreate the death of T-Wiz in the music video and would add a K onto the 156 gang. Whilst it seemed that 156 weren't looking to retaliate just yet, stabbings and shootings still continued to play out between both sides, with countless scoreboard videos being uploaded to YouTube surrounding the beef. It would be around six months later that 156 would lose another member to the violence. On the 18th of November 2017, a member of 156 named Jay, who was close to T-Wiz and even rode out onto Rainer's Lane territory with T-Wiz, would be out drinking out with his friends in Northolt. What Jay didn't know was that a Rainer's Lane member named Jojo, or suspect who was housed in Ilford, East London by police, would travel from Ilford all the way to Rainer's Lane through the tube. Jojo would meet up with three other Rainer's Lane members and would plan to ride out that night. The members would use two different mopeds and ride Bro, out- Bro, the man obviously they on like, I'm catch a case and Ray and feds move him an hour away, bro. The man is willing for take a train. Is it the train? Uh, that's an hour away? Hold on. The other Rainer's Lane members and would plan to ride out that night. The members would use two different mope hold would on, meet hold East on. London by police, would travel from Ilford all hour, hour by car. So, how long is it by train? Because this is an hour by car, and you can see the car symbol right here. But how fast is it by train? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, 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 anyway. The whole point is that, bro, these guys have nothing better to do with their time. Man is willing to take hours out of him day just for travel to the up block. He not even start lurk yet. And you know how the lurking go when they reach the up block. He might be there the whole day and don't see anybody. Yeah? 
So the, bro, uh-uh. That's too much time, bro. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I want beard. You know what I mean? Like, I need to take a shower, bro. Like, what? All the way to Rainer's Lane through the tube, Jojo would meet up with three other Rainer's Lane members and would plan to ride out that night. The members would use two different mopeds and ride out looking for one, five, six members. They would spot Jay walking with two of his friends back from a night out. The members would hop off the bikes and would start chasing Jay. Jay would be separated from his friends and start knocking on people's doors. However, sadly, no one would be able to help him and he would be stabbed multiple times by the members. The Ra oh, Look how the man them are running down, dog. Bro. Imagine these as your last moments. You're getting hunted, bro. Chased, fam. But also as well, me personally, I don't see how you're a gang member and you're walking home on a night out. But at the same time, him probably thinks, that, oh, if they pull up, yeah, I ain't gonna run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shank fight. I don't know, bro. Sometimes the gang member mentality kind of hard to guess. But for me personally, if I know that I'm a gang member and my gang and this gang is currently in a war right now like bro man i got us outside a party bro why would i be going to parties and there's an active war going on outside like there's a war going on outside why am i at a party you understand know what i mean i don't know maybe i'm different Rainer's members would flee following the attack, and Jay would sadly be pronounced dead on the scene. A murder investigation would be launched following this, with Jojo being the only member arrested. Jojo would go on to be found guilty of the murder, and would be sentenced to life with a minimum of 20 years. Rest in peace, Jay. Whilst Jay's involvement in the beat sentenced to life with- oh, Okay, okay, I thought we were giving the names of the other guys that were there, but no, Jojo's the only guy arrested, so- right. The minimum of 20 years. Rest in peace, Jay. Whilst Jay's involvement in the beef is often debated, what is known is that he would often be pictured throwing K's onto the Rainer's Lane sign being an L. Jay would also be close with other 156 members being Workrate and T-Wiz, with Workrate even paying homage to him in his drill tracks in the following years. After the death of Jay, a member of 156 named Nito NB would- That's one thing I was going to say as well. A lot of times, these guys aren't really involved like that, but one picture throwing up this gang K or this gang killer or shooter or putting it down bro that's a death wish basically because you know most people are gonna remember because it's a picture so when them wait and a such man that we did a throw down Rainer's lane k in you know, the picture i i i come here i i want you on it you know what i mean like bro i don't know but for me bro i don't like why would i even need to take a picture showing that i'm Rain, I'm laying K like you should like bro. You know that though. You know that if I'm already in the gang You should know that you know what I mean? I don't know start to drop music at the end of 2017 he would drop a mad about bars which would blow up and would gain nito a lot of new fans starting to notice 156 this song would put 156 on the map with nito nb responding to 1011's disses towards tiwiz however it would be 2018 that we would see 156 also blow up in the drill scene in may 2018 nito nb would drop a song titled rise and tan which would blow up and currently sits on 12 million streams wait rise and tan was 2018 Bro, Razantan feel like ages ago, bro. Feel like 2015, 16, maybe. That was 2018? Nah, man. Ain't no way Razantan was 2018, bro. Recently, the original music video was taken down from YouTube. However, re-uploads still do exist. Nito NB wouldn't stop there, and in July, he would release a Lightwork Freestyle. This was his second release of the year, and would gain loads of attention. And around 2021, we would see I, that- that, 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 you got touched, but still left juice. It wasn't from us, it must have been you. And that, 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 brand new, and that, 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 brand new. Ah, oh, man, I wish I remember the words. But that's how you know, say a long time I've been listening to Drill, you know. I just saw the video and immediately the bars start playing back in my head. We didn't get touched but still left juice. It wasn't from us. It must have been you. What? Dag, need to MV sick, dog. And him just start upload music like last month or two months ago again. So let me know if you want me to react to some Nita MB on the channel.
This song blow up on TikTok gaining millions of new views. With the song currently sitting on 38 million views, Nito NB would pretty much be on top of the drill scene whilst a lot of CGM members were in jail like Digga D who had previously taken over. 2018 would be a good year for 156 musically, and in 2019 we would see younger members of 156 also starting to rap. On the 9th of June 2019, a song would be uploaded to Mixtape Madness titled Real Life, which would be a sly diss to Rainer's Lane, as Rainer's Lane abbreviated is RL. This track but even that though, look how long ago real life was. Absav was even skinny in this. That's why you know this was ages ago because Absav is fat as F now. My little sister out there. But, you know, like, how the man, like, bro, the man was cool for years. How, what happened? Like, literally years of the man being cool and now they're beefing. I need to know what happened which would be a sly diss to Rainer's Lane, as Rainer's Lane abbreviated is RL. This track would feature Nito NB along with two younger members, named Workrate and Absav. Absav was from Northolt, which was based within the UB5 postcode, and Workrate was from Greenford, based within the UB6 postcode. Now this song was rude with the rappers dissing Rainer's Lane affiliates and members loads, however during the blow-up of 156, sadly another member of 156 would fall victim to the streets. On the 23rd of September 2019, a member of 156 named Chaos who had even previously rapped alongside Nito NB on unreleased tracks. Anyways, Chaos would approach people who were his friends, these being Purple Haze member Smiley. Smiley and Chaos would have a conversation with each other outside of a juice bar within Southall. The conversation would get heated, with Smiley and Chaos starting to fight each other. Smiley would produce a knife and stab Chaos once. Chaos would start to run. However, Smiley and other members would begin to chase Chaos. They would catch up and stab him multiple times, with him sustaining a wound to the Bro, what? From a conversation to no death? What? Cause if it was a ride out and the man them caught him, fine. But they said that they started off conversing with each other. Meaning, like, oh, I'm here talking with you. And we might get a little aggressive. And then, no, he's not alive. Bro, what were you guys talking about? Well, first of all, only from two um, beefing gang, so why only even conversing in the first place? Was it really a convo or when it was just, you know, talking before when I get to the wedding? Like, I, bro, that, I just, we get a lot of info, but it just makes me want more info because no, I need to know more. I need to understand how this happened. How? Members would begin to chase chaos, they would catch up and stab him multiple times, with him sustaining a wound to the chest and neck. The killers would flee following the attack, and police and emergency services would be called to the scene. Chaos would sadly be pronounced dead around an hour after the attack. With nearby witnesses even recording chaos on the floor, however, this footage is way too graphic to even talk about here. Three men including Smiley would be arrested shortly after the murder, and would all be found guilty for the incident. Rest in peace chaos. 2020 would begin and look so promising. Why I'm never get said I'm sentencing? What I'm getting? Would all be found guilty for the incident? Are they found guilty? But just because you're found guilty, don't mean say you get the 20 or the 22 or the 25 or the 30. Bro, some people get guilty for the M and get 12, 15. Nah, bro. For me, no, no, nobody should ever get 12 or 15 for a murder. Are you crazy? Maybe manslaughter, yeah, but not murder. That's a whole different crime. Rest in peace, chaos. 2020 would begin and look promising for 156. However, tit for tat incidents would still occur. In May, a 156 member named Rifty would catch and shoot at a Rainer's Lane member named Brizo in a kebab shop. This incident would be captured on CCTV. Bro, I watch that kebab shooting video all the time. And the short nigga that came in at the end was Absav. And I, I like, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I want to say something, but I don't want to say it because I don't want you know, Let me just continue. Shoot at a Rainer's Lane That's member like named Brizo in a kebab shop. This incident would be captured on CCTV. However, luckily, no one was injured with the bullets missing. Anyways, 156 would drop a few cold songs in 2020. This included a full on diss track to all of their ops titled L's Down. With the entire. This was one of the, my favorite songs that year, bro. 
I love this song. The song being a diss to ops including Rainer's Lane, CGM, and Wes Drayton, this song would gain a lot of attention in the scene, with the song currently sitting on over 4 million streams. The song would feature rappers, Nito NB, Workrate, Absav, and Mad Max. It would be around this time that T. Rose, who we previously talked about, would be in jail for an unrelated incident. Following the release of L's Down, Rainer's Lane members including Siz, Risky, and Brizo would link up and drop a direct response track titled L's Up, in which they would use the same beat and respond to the 156 Yo, I never heard of this before. Rainer's Lane did an actual this reply. We need to check it out. We need to check it out. I we need to compare and say which one better. If the 156 or the Rainer's Lane, L's Up or L's Down better. Which one? We need to check it out. Alright, so maybe that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. We're going to compare <laughs> the L's down and the L's up song them and see which gang dissed each other better. Six song. The Rainers members would diss Jay, Chaos, and T-Wiz in this song. They would also reference incidents within the streets between the two sides. Around a month after the release of L's Down and L's Up, on the 29th of August 2020, T-Rose would be released from jail, and it would be looking as if he was ready to drop music, with him even dropping a preview to a song on the 9th of October 2020. However, what no one was expecting was that four days later, one of the bloodiest days would occur within the beef, resulting in two people dying as a result of the war. He was killed in this incident with rapper T Rose from Rainer's Lane. On the 13th of October, T Rose, who had moved four days after the man fresh home and post on IG, bro, the man couldn't even be home a week. He couldn't even get a week on the road, brother. Bomb. Moved from West London all the way to Telford over two hours away, would be standing near a business car park. At around 12 p.m., a car full of 156 members would ride up to T. Rose. They would lean out of the car and shoot him six times. Police and ambulances would be called to the scene. However, despite their best attempts at safe- Man said the man lean out of the car, you know? The man them never stop, never pause, never read. The man lean out of the car, brother. No. Bro, sometimes when I hear the description of some of these crime scenes, I just think of John Wick, Jason Bourne, like 007. Like, that's what I'm thinking about, bro. Taken. Like, bro, like, it's a movie thing, this. You yeah, drive by, you lean out the whip. You yeah, do Ricky. Ricky! Like, bro, come on, bro. Remember how the man lean out when the man pull up on the alley and Ricky are run? Nah, never mind. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're too young. Saving T. Rose, he would sadly be pronounced dead on the scene, with the killers fleeing. Now, police couldn't connect anyone to the murder of T. Rose, until recently when a mugshot of a man wanted for suspicion of murder named Ahmed Karshe, who is still on the run, and has even been labeled one of the most wanted men within the UK. Rest in peace, T. Rose. Around 10 hours later, at 10 p.m., 156 members so would stop- So hold on, one of the most wanted men in the UK is a 156 member? That's how serious these guys are? Let me just listen, let me listen. In peace, T. Rose. Around 10 hours later, at 10 p.m., 156 members wouldn't stop there and would ride out looking for ops. They would ride out around Hayes Town Center and would spot a Purple Haze member named Shaq. The members of 156 would shoot Shaq multiple times and then flee in the car that they used to ride out, which they then burned streets away. Police and ambulances would be called to the scene following the shooting, and a 15-year-old girl and other bystanders would attempt to save Shaq's life. However, despite their best attempts, Shaq would be pronounced dead on the scene. A murder investigation would be launched following this, seeing four 156 members being arrested for the murder. This included a 13-year-old boy who was charged for the shooting and murder. The 13-year-old who couldn't be named would appear in court following this. However, I couldn't find if the members were found guilty. Rest in peace, Shaq. Following the death of Tiros and Shaq, a popular RCG member named Absav would actually be arrested on the same day Tiros and Shaq died, with him posting a story on Instagram with the caption saying, Soon home, get back gang. At the end of 2020, 20, we would see 156 and AGB link up and drop a song, which was huge as both of the gangs had started to gain a massive following around this time. The rappers on this track included Absav, 60, Workrate, Suspect, and Broad Day. And to say this song was- This is one of my favorite songs. I just wish that the, 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 the bass in the song did mix better. But it's still one of my favorite jail songs ever though. It was rude would be an understatement. The track was full of disses to dead and alive opposition members. Following the release of this song, 156 would continue to drop music throughout 2020. Bro, 60 said he proposes on the up block because he gets down on one knee and bangs this pumpy. Bro, think, bro, what? 
Bro, I've never heard someone use the getting down on one knee of proposing to a woman and comparing it to getting down on one knee and aiming and blasting a shotgun at your ops. I've never heard anybody make that comparison ever yet in my life. So big up 60. 21. And in the summer months of 2021, another person would be killed as a result of the beef. On the 11th of June, 2021, a 15-year-old member of Rainer's Lane named J Taps would be on his way to school within Hayes. What J Taps didn't know was that a member of 156 named Slim would also be on his way to school and would spot J Taps. A fight would ensue between the members. However, Slim was armed with a knife and J Taps was unarmed. However, J Taps would try and defend himself with a traffic cone. Sadly, J Taps would be stabbed multiple times by Slim with the entire incident incident being recorded by a bystander. Police and ambulances would arrive on the scene moments later, however sadly J Taps would be pronounced dead on the scene. With a murder investigation being launched following the incident, Slim would be arrested not long after the murder, he would be charged with the murder, and in 2022, Slim would be found guilty of manslaughter and possession of a bladed article. Slim would be sentenced to 13 years in prison, with footage of Slim even killing J Taps being shown in court. Rest in peace J Taps. Over a month after the I was going to say, there was a... Uh... I look a clipping of like them tussling and they see slim hand swinging towards j -tap. like he was swinging like he was trying to connect them shank swing there but then there's also a little clip of j -tap's mother a pull up to the scene after all of that go on and taps is on the floor and yeah you can hear the pain in her mother heart in her voice dog that's it like when we watch those types of videos yeah, it make me don't want to do anything even related to street um stuff now. Like just hearing the pain in his mom's voice, bro. Oh, I can't imagine putting my mother through that, bro. Or anybody through that, bro. Like that has pain, you know. I don't even know how else to explain it, bro. Like I don't know. Unless you grew up in the hood and you've heard screams like that before, then you are yaga know me at all, bro. But you know, if not, stay away from the streets murder of JTAPS, Absav would be released from prison and would be fresh home. We would start to see Absav dropping songs following his release. This included songs titled Back in Style, which was his first song after being released, and Gossip to end the year. At the start of 2022, we would see Absav drop a song named Plugged Out, which was a disrespectful and hard song. UK drill fans were starting to take in Absav as he was seriously cold. However, no one was expecting what he was going to drop throughout 2022. I dig I dig Wake him up! Wake him up! Hello! <laughs> On the 22nd of May 2022, a song was uploaded onto YouTube titled Tables Turn. This featured rapper Absav, who was talking real grease on this track. With him dissing every op, YouTube reactors would start to notice the rudeness of this track, which would then result in the song do- Yo, UK Drill Plug, how you don't show my video? UK Drill Plug, been like that, you know? I was one of the first for react to Absav when the Tables Turn thing did start. Yeah, bro, put some respect on my name, man. Yo, I want the UK drill plug, dog. I, 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 don't get me wrong. Yes, I've been missing for like the past couple of months. But the whole of 2022, I was active, bro. Don't do that. Thing every op, YouTube reactors would start to notice the rudeness of this track, which would then result in the song doing numbers. It would be taken down days after originally being uploaded due to how rude it was. However, re-uploads do exist. Absav wasn't done there, and a few days later, he would preview a song titled Tables Turn 2 on his Instagram. This song was by far the rudest song ever uploaded to the website, with Absav even imitating each of his dead ops, mocking them in the process. Although these songs were insanely rude, it does make sense why he would make them, as CGM and 1011 had been mocking Tiwiz for nearly half a decade prior. Anyways, Absav would make it a trilogy, and two weeks later, would drop a third table's turn, which was just as rude as the previous songs. However, despite the rudeness of each of these songs, they would go viral with Table's Turn 2 having 3 million streams, and Table's Turn 3 having just over 1.5 million streams. After this, my least favorite was Table Turn 3, because in Table Turn 3, he wasn't even rhyming at a point. He was just literally just saying words on the instrumental. Like, it, like, at a point, it passed just rudeness and music and to the point where, like, bro, you're just talking on a rhythm now. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, Tables Turn 1 and 2, entertaining, definitely, and rude and everything, and yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want, we go back and check out the Tables Turn trilogy for the channel. Let me know, bro. Talk to me in the comments. Yes, Absav would be consistent all 2022, pretty much dropping a song every...
No, 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 bro. You saw how she was shaking that a while ago. Let's go back and look at it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me change the speed. No, bro. No, bro. I have to see that shake up. Streams. After this, Absav would be consistent all 2022. Having just over one and a half million. Sorry, sorry. Streams. I'm gonna stop after this. After this, I promise you. Absa I promise you. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna 20 stop. Twenty. Look who she's slapping. All right, I'm done. 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 I'm going back to watch the video regularly. Calm down, bro. I'm done. If you're vex, I'm sorry, bro. You know I love me a sweet one. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> That's what I'm on earth for. The sweet ones. <laughs> the fuck? Two, pretty much dropping a song every month. In 2023, we would see a divide in 156, with it being alleged Absav and Workrate had a fight at a music video shoot, causing a divide in 156. RCG and Six Gang would start to beef following this. You may know RCG as wow. Absav. So it all started because the man them fought at a music video. Nothing more than it's some ego thing. Straight, bro. It, nothing more than it just some ego thing that one of the man them never want let go. That bro, like. Tch. Alleged Absav and work. Managa said that's what it is, you know. But usually, the man them, you see me, bro. Like especially when we start make money and everybody start get older. You know, them start, yeah, it, it, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a fight at a music video shoot, causing yeah. a divide in 156. RCG and Six Gang would start to beef following this. You may know RCG as Absav, R1, 60, and Nito NB all rep it, whilst Six Gang was repped by work rate. This is why we often see RCG members like Absav, R1, and 60 throwing Ks on the six. In recent months, we would see Absav quit UK Drill, as he got tired of UK Drill as a genre. As a result of this, he has been experimenting with other creative avenues which include streaming which we have seen him do on twitch at the start of 2024 60 would drop a song titled new year's resolution yo this song i thought it was going to be a drill song this song is a wave track i did not know 60 had wave in his catalog bro like big up 60 man versatile 60 is a real artist like him aggression and rhythms on the drill you would have never expect him to be so smooth with the wave. Like, bro, he's he's talented, bro. Solution, which was a completely different style of what we normally see from 60. And I can't lie, this song was a banger. And if 60 stays focused on music and new sounds, he can definitely blow in the drill scene and maybe yeah. go commercial. If Facts. you have learned anything from- Fucks, like the whole N Nina Uptown, this um, Richie, uh, Marley Strip, the CM, Lil Max. The same, that, that, that like a wave vibe. Well, Richie was a wave. Let me stop. Richie was drill. <laughs> Richie's a driller. Um, but Lil Max, Nina Uptown. Um, well, ah, man, there's a Molly brother. What may I try to remember, right? We want raves. You know them? Yeah. G U. Yeah. The wave song. Bro, you see? I don't even react to wave on the channel, and I'm just listing off the wave rappers. I'm from the UK, bro. Subscribe for my UK knowledge, bro. Subscribe, bro. Which other reactor know so much about the UK like that? And that's not from there. Come on, bro. Put some respect on my name. Let's continue. From this video, make sure it's to not involve yourself with the road life, as it's Flax. an endless cycle of violence that only leads to death or jail. Rest Flax. in peace, everyone, in this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Yeah, man. Big up UK drill plug. I did enjoy this video, but my subscribe already, bro, so I can't subscribe again. So, but if you don't subscribe, subscribe to him and subscribe to me. No. Well, I finally found out the reason as to why they're beefing. The man them fight at a music video. So it's not even nothing real. Not no real beef or no real nothing. It's just personal issues between this guy and this guy. And then them, their respective gangs just take it up on themselves. Sad. Very sad. Because now we're not going to get the 156 link up that we really need. Probably ever again. You understand? So call it music wise. 156 is done. The only thing I can hope for is that 60 stays on the wave um, path and we can, you know, have like a new 
thing to look forward to with 60 doing wave but otherwise from that bro yeah 156 done sad because they made really good rude and entertaining is very shocking you know them way like else down absav with the tables turn nito with bars and flows and 60 with the aggression and being taller than everybody in the world and stuff like that <laughs> you know what i mean but it's sad but all right 156 no more it is what it is man any more street documentaries or any type of drill videos or whatever you want me to react to let me know in the comments down below for sure you know what i'm saying hit the like button jump in the comments subscribe ep out now music video out now on the music channel and subscribe to the gaming channel too go just say i'm this motherfucker man oh may i touch my hey